Okay, today we're going to talk about building a portfolio website using Dreamweaver, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. We're going to learn by following along and doing this project together. We're going to be creating a website to, to promote our own careers, showcase our skills, and to showcase the projects we do. Also, this will help us in our preparation for our Adobe Industry Certification exams, and it's fun. Let's look at our needs. We've got to introduce who we are. We've got to show our sketching and drawing ability. We have to show our Adobe Illustrator skills, and we have to show our Adobe Photoshop skills as well, plus our 3D SolidWorks skills as well. Plus, we show our projects we've produced and how we actually created those projects. This is an example website I created that we're going to build together. This time we're going to, we're going to go out and we're going to actually look at the website that I created. In this website, we're going to have a splash page like you see here, and we're going to have an About Me section with named anchor points as you see here. And this one, it shows me going to my artist page, show me as, as an artist, also as a designer. And we're going to have on our website linked videos to YouTube. And this is an example of the projects that we've made, and the different things that we've created, and how those things work, and how they come together. Having this on our About Me page gives us a lot more depth and detail about who we are. Plus, We can show the machines that we've done, we've created the products that we've produced. Here I go up and I talk about how I am as a teacher. Some of my past students, as you see here, who've gone on and became car designers. Also, we showcase, in this case, my industry experience, where I worked at NASA when I was in college, 3D plant design software I sold, finite element analysis, and supercomputers. And then we talk about you know, our interests. In my case, my family, my daughter, my son, and also my grandson. Plus, on our interest page, I want you to show about also your achievements, the things that you've done about me on your achievements, whether you're a teacher, or you've worked in industry, or you've you know earned a sports award or accomplishment there. We need to put that on our web page about who we are. Furthermore, on this site, we talk about the different things we've done as far as design. In this case, we're going to showcase our orthographic and isometric projection drawings that we manually draft. And these are just two examples of ones that I created earlier in class for the students. Then we come back and show any other kind of sketches that we've done. Here I am at the, uh, in Deleuze in Paris working on a sketch. These are some cartoons and drawings that I've done of famous sports art, of famous sports figures. And also, I go in and I show things about sketches and drawings that I've done. All this adds to the, the flavor of who we are and the, and the mosaic of who we are as ourselves. All of these examples here are on this website, and you'll be shown how to create that. Here shows Adobe Illustrator. This tutorial I actually did. And then here shows uh, some illustrations and designs I did using Illustrator for binder covers. Plus, we want to showcase our 3D modeling capability, like with SolidWorks. In this case, uh, different machines that I've designed, different uh, products that I've made. And also using various 3D animation and modeling tools. Here's an example of a 3D uh, model that I created of a pizza parlor using LightWave. Again, all put up on YouTube on our site. Again, more animations from SOLIDWORKS that, again, I did put up on my uh, YouTube site. It's important to show the depth and breadth of what we can do for future employers. Again, particularly of importance is our certifications that we've achieved and earned. In this case, Dreamweaver, of which we're going to be using this on a Dreamweaver project. Also, SOLIDWORKS, showing our different prospective employees our skills, this shows a valid uh, certification in SOLIDWORKS. Here, my state teaching certificate as a teacher here in Florida. And then also show videos of actually building stuff that we create. 
in this case here again I post all my um, video content onto YouTube here I'm using a laser, laser engraving system to laser out a nameplate project that we designed in Illustrator, Photoshop, and SolidWorks and then actual, actually going out and producing that particular part but again this is the type of website we're going to be building for class so let's, get, let's look at some realities and recommendations this is advanced software the process this process builds hireable skills and what you learn will be very valuable it's not something to take for granted as another class that you take in high school it's something that's going to be very valuable we, make, we recommend you take very detailed notes and I'll get to that here in a second but also we recommend that you build a nearly identical site to the one here and then after you've completed that you can come back and customize it and then even more so it's recommended that you go back and experiment but let's go back and look at those notes for example to really learn this software you really need to take notes as detailed as notes as you possibly can anybody that's professional and serious about what they're doing web developers any kind of professional takes a lot of notes Dreamweaver is not uh, is very advanced software and you cannot remember everything in it. It's just too big. And you can see here I've taken over 30 some odd pages of notes. But also, let's go back to the site for a minute. Let's consider the fact that we need to build a, a site that's nearly identical to the one that I showed you here. And I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. Both these websites are nearly identical, uh, use nearly identical methods in creating in Dreamweaver. And so yours could look somewhat like that or maybe a little different. Site planning. Let's go over our checklist. The purpose of our site, our target audience, who are the intended users. We must write an outline for that site. What are the assets and media? Are they visually impaired people? And what about file management? Let's go back and check out that outline. And this I strongly recommend is that you write out your outline. And here is this outline write it in pencil so you can change it get it on paper do not use it digitally just get it written out and have the client initial that they agree to this plan and then this becomes your roadmap for your actual website you build it's simple it's quick and it works I guarantee it works let's look at our site checklist purpose of our website our target audience our intended users and again we have to write that outline out, this review of all this, assets and media, anybody visually impaired, file management. Okay. Now these are our action steps. We've got to build a folder for our site and our assets, our images. We've got to build a banner and a footer using Illustrator and Photoshop. We've got to collect all images and photos and movies we're going to use. Set up a website server and connection for a remote server. Create an index and cascading style sheet, external style sheet page. And if the CSS and the index are okay, then we can start building the other sites. Let's get started. But mostly, let's have fun.